gosh, I can hear myself. Hi everyone, it's been a while. Um, I'm I'm watching I'm watching my own like preview because I have all this new stuff. Hi Fico man, how you doing? Um, and like I have this green screen now, as you can see or you can't see, but it's here. Watch this magic trick. It's it's spooky where you're just like peer behind the veil. Um, but I don't know. I'm not like a pro at the settings. But hey, it's cool. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's cool. Fancy, schmancy, yes. Oh yeah, can't. Isn't there some way that I can see the chat on the screen? How, didn't I? Maybe I had it over here. Okay, okay. See, it's over here. So I have the chat over here. Where is this chat? Chat. Copy. Come down here. Paste. Hey. Oh. It's really hard to read over there. Hmm. Make it smaller. Let me just like. Why am I like going all fuzzy now? I'm like transparent. I don't know. It looks good. It looks better than 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 a, a big box. That's for sure. You know, and I don't even have like fancy like preset scenes yet, but I can like do fun stuff. Well, yeah, like I'm a tra I'm transparent. That's weird. I wonder what setting that is. I can look in here and mess with it, but I don't know what it. What is similarity one to a thousand? What is smoothness one to a thousand? You can't. There's a default button and a close button. Shouldn't there be a button that says our best guess because we're the experts and we can teach our computer to guess a little bit on what you want because I don't know what any of this anyway <laughs> you're a ghost I am a ghost I don't get out very much I used to tan when I was younger now I just burn when I was real young I used to tan now I'm out there for like just one too many extra minutes and my skin's red Green screen looks good, wifey. Oh, thank you, Octopi. Ha 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 ha. Nice wifey. Hello, wifey. Um, oh yeah, is that chat? Yeah, see, it's so hard to see the chat. Maybe, maybe it's just because of what's on the screen right now. Can you turn the mic up a little? Um, let's see. How does that sound? Does that sound better? Did I change it? I'm looking at, why do I hear myself too? I hear an echo. Um, is that this? Oh, no, 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 that's right. I have my, I have the, the stream open on the web browser. There we go, okay. I was like, echo, echo. Um, yeah, I'm looking at my settings here in OBS and the mic is already basically maxed out. Um, advanced audio properties. No, that doesn't help. <clears throat> um, yeah, forgive me everyone for just getting through these little technical issues before we get into all the fun stuff, but we just want to make sure it's all working. I don't really mind the fuzziness, I mean... Okay, I'll, I'll, I mind it a tiny bit. Let me just... Video, wait, wait, which one is it? This one, gosh. <laughs> um, it's, and it's like the preview is different than what I'm seeing on the screen. Like, there's a preview window now because I have the settings. Um, hello, hello, Mim111. Hi. Oh, thank you for the bits. Thank you. Oh, wow, now I'm getting more invisible. What? Oh, it's the smoothness. Okay, the smoothness is too high, apparently. I guess. I don't know. Let's try that. Is that better? I'm less of a ghost. Hello. Hello, Mim. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Pogchamp. I like the snake face. I like the new Pogchamp. It's cool. It changes, right? That's what I heard since I've been gone and back since last time. 
how goes life here? Life goes good. I'm just uh, setting up a couple of, you know, making sure every, I, you know, I tried to put it all together over the last week, making sure everything's working, you know, getting the green screen. I went and bought a lamp to make the green screen look better and stuff like that, like today. And anyway, we're here, we're live. It's Mass Effect Legendary came out today. So that's why today is the day because I've been waiting for Mass Effect Legendary. Um, but I've got all this other stuff too. Like I've got a new VR headset. Um, I've been saving up loot boxes on Overwatch for like two years or three years. I don't know. I stopped opening them a long time ago because I got everything I wanted for all the characters I play. And I was like, I don't need these anymore. So I just, I have a thousand of them now. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, VR headset's going to be fun. The quality on the VR headset capture and streaming everything, I'm a little concerned about when I was testing it. There's some choppiness. I don't know. I don't know how well it's going to translate, but we're going to give it a go. I mean, it's certainly, certainly going to be fun to experiment with, if anything. Um, and, of course, there's always the mixed reality VR that I've seen, but I've not gotten into yet that's like the next level I gotta do I gotta walk before I can run um, anyway I talked for a long time because of your question Mim how are you welcome how are you if you come in welcome 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 everyone um, checklists I'm I'm doing right, I've got I've got the I've got the over overwatch a thousand six to three boxes yeah I was just saying I got the overwatch up that's over there so I keep I'm gonna be looking over here to do overwatch because it's on my TV which is way over there here's my computer over here my TV's over there that's where this is the the overwatch it's on my Xbox hoping for anything specific no 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 I, I have no idea what's what I'm gonna get in any of them um, oh wow okay uh, and one thing I know about loot boxes is that their loot is generated when you receive them. So my loot boxes that are like two years old are gonna are, are not gonna have anything from any of the new characters or any of the new skins or anything. Uh, we can come in here and just take a quick little preview at everything I've got. Ooh, ooh, that's fancy. Should I should I start off with one and then end with the other one? Nice little bookends of legendary loot boxes. Let's see, we got, okay, 98 anniversary, dusty ass old loot boxes, yeah. 83 archives, let me move this thing. Still legendary, yeah. 77 lunar, that's cool. 116 winter. And so, and these are, like, this says 51 Halloween, but that's over, like, two or three different Halloweens. So, there's, like, old and new ones. I don't even know if it if it keeps them all in the same order. 72 Summer Games. Uh, there we go. There we go. 564 regular loot boxes. So, I, I was try I'm try I've been trying to decide forever. You have, like, every time I ever think of this, I try and figure out, how do I want to do it? Do I want to, like, do all of them all at once and just spam through it? Do I want to sit here and talk about it every time? Like, you know, I'm trying to think about the end user, the viewer. <laughs> What's your experience? Um, what would I want to watch is, is what I finally think about. And then I'm like, I don't know, sitting through that many in a row is a little boring. So I was thinking, what if I'm limited? I can only open loot boxes after like I, I get a win, right? Like I got to play I, it's convenient that Mayhem is here because it happens to be my favorite game type. I'm worried that it'll reset in a few hours, but as you can see at the top, it takes nine wins to get three loot boxes. To get more, that's where this is where I get all my loot boxes. I, I load up the game every couple every day or so, and I'm like, is Mayhem here? And uh, if it's not here, then I I go play a different game. But if, May if Mayhem is here, then I'll get all nine wins in a row on Mayhem, so long as the game type is around. The higher quality ones after wins, maybe? Yeah, I guess we could, like, so, like, I guess we could w w wet our beak, so to speak. Like, we could maybe do these first, uh, like, 63 just regular loot boxes and get back down to a 1,000. 
just straight get down to a thousand and just tease from there, right? Just do 63 of them. And then I was thinking like, maybe I could do, uh, just divide whatever's left over. What is that? A thousand, right? Yeah. A thousand. I might get like one or two because of experience by playing. So whatever. Divided by nine wins. That's still a hundred. So if I get a win, I have to leave a game, leave the game, and then go open over a hundred boxes. So, you know, it really depends though, because depending on how long these games go, right? Maybe that's a bad idea. 63 loot box appetizer. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I was thinking, right, we have these two anniversary loot boxes. Maybe start off with one and then end with one. That seems cool, right? So, yeah, let's do it. Oh. Hey. I mean, I'll talk about a gold, right? Do it. Do it. I like that. I like that emote. I want that emote. Do it. That's nice. <laughs> um, I'm going to put my, it's my Xbox headset on. It's going to make all the noise that I can hear. Um, great. I got to not open this. Okay. All right. I'm just going to like pick a couple random ones from all the categories and just see what we get. Um, highlight intro. Ooh. Yeah, I'll equip that. I play Orisa. Yeah. What's this? No, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of all the voice lines and stuff, but... I'll look at some of the easier visual things. Lots of... what are these? Icons? Icons? Yeah, player icons. Oh, oops. It's weird playing, so I can't play, like I have a preview of the Xbox over here, but I definitely can't play over here because there's like a, hold on, about a one and a half second delay between the game and this preview, so that would not be fun to play as, I mean even navigating these menus is really hard to do through the monitor here, oops. What is this? What is this? What? Oh, it's Lucio. He's upside down. I was like, is this a spray? What's going on? <laughs> hey. What is this? Preview. Is this the skin? Current skin is the Yeti. I can't... Oh. I mean, I like the rockets a lot. I'll equip it. That's cool. Kind of opening indiscriminately. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, let's do some of these. I like that fat stack of gold, right? I definitely need that, considering I have so many things to buy. <laughs> what is this? Fashion voice line. I kind of like it. It's cute. Um, how many am I at? Oh, that was only 10. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. It's so slow. I gotta go faster. Got, I've got, you know, so many games to play. <laughs> so little time. <laughs> oh, that's cool, cool. I, I, I didn't see it first, but there's this little background behind all the items. That's cool. Oh, I like this um, tracer spray. Um, but the theming! The theming! Oh. The, uh, okay, the salute. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. I'm not going to do the voice lines. i got to listen closely to voice lines. Otherwise, I can't hear them anyway, so... Um, let's do, I have a lot of these. Let's do like, let's do like 15 of these. Let's do like 10 of these. 10 of these. Oops, I wanted to see this. It's a duplicate. Why don't I recognize the skin though? Some of the icons are nice. So um, at the uh, at the end of a session, or like just every now and then, or definitely at the very end, I'll look at the icons menu because they'll all be highlighted, and you can just look at all of them all together. So I kind of I kind of like I kind of approach my consumption of information like a factory. I kind of like consolidate. <laughs> what is this? Highlight intro. Oh yeah. Hacking. I like the hacking one more. It's such a troll. Someone's like, oh, I got the play- oh. Even though I never get it. I never- I never play Sombra and when I- when I am like out of my mind and I'm like, oh my gosh, no one else is playing Sombra and it's the only thing that's gonna help us right now, I'll somehow try my best. I'm not gonna get play of the game, so. <laughs> I don't know why I care about the her her victory whatever thing. All these duplicates, I just see coin, 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 and then I'm like, yeah. Oh, hydrate. Love you. Re more duplicates. It's weird how many like duplicates I get, right? Considering I have not opened boxes for such a long time. Like I'm not buying anything with coins I don't have. I'm not opening boxes. But you know. Maybe I just opened so many beforehand. That's cool. I like the I like the laughing. That's a cool tracer pose. I would put that on like during Halloween. That's a cool spray. Whose spray is this? Widow? Sombra. Oh. Um. Yeah. That's cool. Cause like other people put a lot of different sprays and sometimes you can like put your spray on their spray and make it like be something. So now I can add eyes. You can add eyes to people, people's sprays. That's some like niche gameplay right there. Your overlapping spray game. It's real important. You gotta think about it every day. Don't don't forget. <laughs> it help. It helps you win. It's it's a morale thing. You know, people laugh and then they feel good. They play better. <laughs> oh, I should turn off notifications or whatever. How do I do that? Here, right? Oops. Settings. No. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Uh, we'll just ignore it. If there's a pop-up. I shouldn't. I shouldn't get like a lot of messages or anything. Almost everyone on my friends list is just like it's all looking for group people where we like we played one game together and we're like, hey, if we're on tomorrow, we'll play or something, and then we're all like, yeah. 
and then no one's on tomorrow, and then by the third day, no one remembers anyone else, and then it's like, didn't we play a game or something, and then it's like, I guess, I don't know, we're playing the same game now, you want to play the same game together again, theoretically? Sure, yeah, let's play, you know? So... Tomorrow is an illusion, that's true. Have your people call my people. <laughs> oh yeah, I put the chat over here. Let me. It's, I mean, it's an, it's not the best. It's hard to see. What? No. Yeah. Um. I didn't see anything popping out that like really made me jump. Okay, I still have twenty-seven to go before. Um, let's go to the far end, right? We were just doing some summer games. Summer games. There we go. Loot boxes. Ooh. It'd be cool if the uh, the tail had some sort of emote, like she could like point at someone and go like. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. We're going to have to play the open loot boxes thing. Oops. We're going to have to open loot boxes on win concept by ear like... Hey! Oh. Yeah, that's exciting. Because um, I'm just thinking, like, I'm, I'm going to be playing some a little bit of Mayhem. And, you know, Mayhem is, is all well and good sometimes for... Uh, um, Strike Commander Morrison... Which one is that? I can't remember what my current 76 looks like, but whatever, I'll put it on, it's new. Um, anyway, sometimes a game of mayhem ends real fast. No problem. Easy. But other times, a game of mayhem can last way longer then the game should last. If we go by the premise that um, over time, if you reach overtime, that means that the developers are like, you know, you should have reached a conclusion by about this time. You know, you're now going over time. Um, hmm. Nah. Um, so if you eat up all the regular time and like complete the objectives right at like zero seconds like an average game is you know what 10 15 minutes how it should be so to speak if you add up all the overtime you get how much extra time is your game like if you have a 20 minute game you know is that 10 5 extra minutes overtime etc different maps have different amounts of object objectives and all that uh how many am I at? 18, wow, okay. I can I can definitely spam this button a few times. Um, but, you know, if you get a couple of people on each team determined determined to win, overtime can, can make a game last uh, over 40 minutes long. <laughs> 40, a 45 minute game is three times as long as it should be, three times. The longest game I've played recently lasted like 51 minutes and at the 48 minute mark, 40, okay, 48 minutes in where there has been zero mic chatter, none, nobody on comms, nobody said hello at the beginning of the game, just, you know, X people joined the voice chat and 
you know, like a bunch of nerds, none of us talk to each other. We just know that we can hear, and then we're waiting for other people to talk, and someone at 48 minutes in finally gets on the mic, and it's like, guys, what are we going to do? Because <laughs> we've, we've been deadlocked in overtime for like half an hour. <laughs> like, no progress. I think we finally lost that that game at 0 0.05 meters left on the objective. We needed to push it 0 0.05 meters more to win. And they, they got us. They got us! Ah! But did your voice issues resolve themselves? Oh, um, it's, it's random. Like, it's random that I, that it even worked, right? Like, there are, there are, I was playing it just the other day and I still couldn't, couldn't hear anybody. So no, Overwatch voice over IP is still broken. Hey Blizzard, your Overwatch voice over IP on Xbox is still broken. I don't know. I can join a party and talk in the party, send a voice message, no problem. It says I joined the voice chat on the thing, on the screen, wherever, over there. So hard to orient camera versus whatever. Um, can't hear anybody. Nobody can hear me. Uh, eight more. Eight more. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. It's random. And, like, it's so random. Like, sometimes I can fix it by messing with my controller, right? You you do, you take out the batteries, you put them back in, you take the, the this port part and you take this out and plug it back in, you take the entire puck out and plug it back in, you do the same thing, you plug, you take it out and plug it back in, but without this plugged in and then plug it in afterwards. Like, you change all the order. You do everything. You just... Checklist, change the order, do it all. Sometimes, suddenly, miraculously, randomly, I can hear someone and they can hear me again. So, like, I've tried different controllers, different pucks, different headsets. It's Overwatch. Because all of these other things all work in the party, in messaging, in other games. Just Overwatch. Just Overwatch. Apparently, it, it happened during the Echo update, I've heard other people say when they have problems, which is ironic that the Echo update caused so much silence. Echo! Oh well. Um, six more. Six more boxes! Let's do it, and then go play a little bit of Mayhem to warm up. It's been a while since we've played the video games on the on the computer. I already forgot how many it was. Six? Six? <laughs> was it five? <laughs> oh man. Stay in drugs and don't do school, kids. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 no. Stop this. Hey. Well, Gengu. Young, young Gengu. All right. Okay, since I did totally forget it. I totally, I did, I totally forgot it. One more. One more, let's make it a, let's make it a fun one. Not that one. Um, one of these had over a hundred still. Hey, okay, so. Let's let's play a round or so and just see <laughs> see what happens. Um, I admit I'm going to be a little bit nerfed because I normally sit like 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 three or four meters from here to look at this TV. So I'm sitting at a really weird angle and and I'm too lazy to move the monitor that's on my table 
that does not block me from over there, but does slightly block me from over here. So, you know, don't expect me to be as good as I normally am, but I should still be fine. I'll be fine. I'm not advertising. Don't. <laughs> it's a little wake up juice, you know? Ugh. Sell out. I mean, not until they pay me, right? <laughs> I'm just a, a would be sellout, right? I don't know. Until until they pay me, I don't know. Is this even working? Hmm. I'm suspicious of the efficacy of this, this product. Hmm. I'll tell you later if it actually is waking me up or not. My opinion depends on uh, how how my 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 coffee was obtained. <laughs> Did they pay for it? It's great if they paid for it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. But go um go buy some Madrinas coffee from Bear Taffy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put my headset on to play. Um, but I'm not going anywhere. That's the whole point of me explaining why I'm going to be bad at the game because I'm not sitting in my game chair over there in front of the TV. I'm sitting here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Sounds good. Hmm. Check the game browser. Tiny Overwatch in Hollywood Halloween? Sure. Uh, hey, by the way, feel free to provide feedback about the audio. Like... That was loud AF to me in my headset just now. I turned my headset down, but I don't know how loud it is to you. Oh gosh. Yeah, this isn't good. This is bad. Remember, we're waiting for mayhem. <laughs> That's what we're waiting for. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Now we'll have a, a more peaceful game type. <laughs> alright, alright, we got what we came for. It's the same to me, still on the quiet side, but since it's all turned up, it will be fine. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can still turn my headset, my mic up this tiniest bit, that's all. It was like 3% at the very end, so I was just curious if it was more like a hardware like it's something my mic this microphone also has a little knob on it but I don't know like exactly how it works because when I turn it hello um, I don't seem to notice a difference myself so. oh a few comments says my mic is a little quiet but I've already turned this up and the OBS settings already maxed Maybe it's just the angle? Is it, could it be just how, because the microphone was turned up? There's a gain button on the back. Hmm? There's a gain button mm -hmm. on the back. You can turn the gain up a tiny bit. Oh, okay. Let's see if that happens. All right. Thank you. Go ahead, you can scoop by, thanks. All right. Let's see what kind of, ooh, Mercy. Yeah, I like that. Hi, Mercy. Where'd she go? There she is. Alright, I hear a Doom Fist, which I don't like. McCree's on me, which is bad. Did I not touch? Oh my gosh. See if I can pick on this McCree. The 
gotta get a pick to make it easier for my team to get by. Okay, somebody died. That's good. Come on, come on. You got him. Miss the Doomfist. Miss the Doomfist. Mercy's gonna res him. We push the cart. We got company now. Oh, yeah. Get him. Get him, Lucio. Chase the Doomfist. Chase him. Damn, he got a health. Got him. Lucio. High priority. Alright. Excellent. Shit, they got a somber now. That is bad news bears for me. Lucio, do you really want to fight with Amoira? I mean, that's what happens, Lucio. You gotta do it sometimes. Hey, Kustin Hurlis, long time no see. This is more comparators than power poles. <laughs> I was just, you know, this morning to make room for Mass Effect Legendary. I had to copy all of the footage from that gameplay to a, an external hard drive. I was like, there's some pretty useless but fun scientific data in this. I mean, how, to, how to build a, the most complicated train system you can imagine. Where do you think you're going, Diva? No. Excuse me, we're just gonna... There's the McCree. Hey guys, I'm over here. Don't look at my team. Wow. You got VR now? I love Beat Saber and Super Hot VR hits the spot. It really gets hot under the VR after a while. Yeah, I have to use my fan to keep me cool because I want to play longer than my body. Like, my body's like, no, I'm too warm. And I'm like, that's why I have a fan. Um, system issue. Let us know if the volume is improved to Fico. System issue, my brain today. Hmm. Hi, noon. Where? Not here, certainly. Oh, they have a Symmetra? Oh, Symmetra, don't you know you don't... You don't have any way to get away from me, Symmetra. So sorry, Symmetra. Somebody left the game. Was it Symmetra?
Our, uh, our Anna is making this, this super clutch because she's just stopping them. Octopus definitely better good job tech support wife. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Octopi. I don't know who we killed, but someone's low right here. Oh, it's Symmetra again. Sorry, Symmetra. Moira, you are out DPS here. Now we're at a bit of a stalemate, and they're staggering just nice. Um, good, good, and she ended up stealing the VR headset I got for my birthday so much. She got her own. She might join me later for two player. Nice. That'll be fun. I'll try and work my, ooh, my timing around. Oh, I couldn't get to my healing room. We both have the Oculus Quest 2. He, I didn't even see him approach. I thought he was on the other side of the cart, to be honest. What has it? Oh, okay. Did I make the orb that time? Yeah. Nope. <sighs> Stupid. Hamster, we need a junk rat. I don't know. It's hard for me to say what our team needs, because all I can do is try and contest and keep alive. And then if my team's here, I can try and get help them get picks, but I've got to avoid dying more than get, I can get picks. Um, okay. This is good. Someone's dead. Is that a bastion? Oh my gosh, okay. Get the, get the Zarya, yes, yeah, Zarya's down. That's huge. Zarya, Zarya down is huge. Sombra? I do. She's over there. Okay.
No Samra. Good, our Anna's back. I'm a little behind on chat. I'll catch up as soon as we hit this point, if we hit it. Sombra, what are you doing? Hanzo? Hanzo, this was a mistake. There's a Mercy now, too. Hanzo and I traded, and he won. No. Okay. Um. Just thought this is small game will test so you hang on the cable so you're not tripping over it. So the tripping spot is most like when you play an arm tree something before you move, you can notice you must rotate in one direction. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about all the options and different VR headsets that have existed. I have not been paying attention to them much since uh since that original Nintendo Game Boy one that was like all red color. That's really the last time I paid attention to VR, and that was like 20 years ago. So I'm glad to be paying attention to it now when there's not any cables to worry about, because that would just be a headache. <laughs> I'm sure there's ways to get around it, but I just don't want to bother. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, that was a really long game. Um, so you know what, we're just going to go ahead and keep opening loot boxes and try just we're just gonna open up a bunch between between games um, I don't know we it took forever to open 63 last time so let's just open up a bunch we we'll start at the beginning though victory pose she's like crouched hiding somewhere ready to pounce death is everywhere ooh Hanzo lone wolf current young master sure I'll put on the lone wolf 537 loot boxes, that'll take, well, look at the big number. That's the big number right there. 996. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have, that's why, like, earlier I was like, should I open them after getting a win? But we didn't get a win, but there's no way I'm not opening some right now, because we, th there's a lot to do. You know, I want to get to Mass Effect Legendary today, but I also want to play a little bit on my VR and stuff, because it's new, it's fun. You know, um, but I've been saving these, I've been saving these loot boxes forever, forever and ever and ever. So it's it's cool to finally just be opening them, opening them all. What? Blackbeard skin. I don't like the teal. 
My favorite color is blue, but I don't like teal that much. I don't know. Hey, another one. The Devi. Devi? De Devi? De I think it's Devi. Devi skin? Is that the architect on? I don't know. I've got a lot of her skins. I like them all, so. Make a macro for it and let it run overnight. <laughs> My endorsement level has gone from four to three. Oh. Fault, Baldur, Blackheart. Yeah, I don't like the teal. Is that green? Teal, green, whatever from over here? I don't know. Caution. There's the legendary. Oh, it's doomed this. Huh. I'm not. I can't play Doomfist. I'm not good at him. I'm so bad. 1k loot boxes. You get four items each. Are there even 4k things you can get in the game? I, I don't think so. Yeah. You'll notice a lot of these are duplicates, which is funny. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, there's there's a lot of tiny things. Like, there's a lot of voice lines. There's a lot of sprays. Each one of those little things adds up. You know, there's... I don't know. I've never looked... I've never, like, consolidated that data in my mind when looking at the menu. Oops. Witness me. I'm going to get down to 500 of these and then open up some other types. Cheers, love. Such box, right? It's just, I'm just, I'm basically just like going like whoosh, looking left to right like okay that's all interesting none of it's gold right and then I just wait for the little press A on the bottom to pop up 
for me, this stuff is as interesting and exciting as playing with a one-armed bandit, right? So that's why I'm kind of like, I'm trying to mix in a couple of games here and there, because just going through all these loot boxes all at once is super, I don't want to say super boring, like there's some sort of like morbid, it's like, okay, there's this, there's this old phrase, you, you can't watch um, a pot of water boil, you know? Adults will say that to kids all the time. You can't watch a pot of water boil. I was the type of kid that was like, you can't? Let me test that theory. And then I watched I watched a pot of, of water boil. And you know what they mean by that phrase? Is that if you're like at all paying attention, you're going to find that you're probably so bored out of your mind that you don't want to watch it. But for science, I still did. I made myself watch it. Um, but then I grew a fa I, I gained a fascination for fluid dynamics and now watching things boil is actually interesting anyway so whatever person who said that to me when I was a kid now I do watch things boil haha -ha. <laughs> but anyway I get that it can be a little boring so I uh, I try and mix it up you know I want to mix it up I don't want to just do just one thing all at once so that was the start of everything, right? That one time someone told me I couldn't do something. And then I was like, have you heard of humans? Do you, you don't just say that to people. Then they do it. <laughs> A pot of water boils faster when you're not watching it. So that, what you just said, is definitely... a. Uh, a better version of the phrase I think the the first one you can't wa watch it's kind of like there are certain phrases that over time sort of lost their in touchness with the people that are using them you know this your second version is a lot more accurate I think that's what I would have probably said if I was a kid and I had like better vocabulary back then I probably would have told that that person I was like I bet you can but you just we don't want to it's boring <laughs> now that being said um, our tea kettle or for like boiling water to make tea or coffee right um, we had to get a new one a couple months ago and they had at the store it's it's got clear sides and blue LEDs in it so when it's boiling the water it's blue light and it's all lit up and you can see straight through it and I, I will sometimes end up watching it while waiting for the coffee to make because I, I don't feel like leaving the kitchen so I'm like you know I'm already here the phrase is a watched pot never boils clearly wrong but you get it there you go a watched pot never boils that's what I've heard let's all watch paint dry see that's another one if you come in okay I remember the person who did tell me that you can't watch paint dry and I and I, wa I watched the paint dry. There's some interesting patterns when you watch paint dry. It's kind of like um, when you have steam on something and then you like you can blow and there's like different areas that lose or gain humidity and you can see the the wetness on the surface like changing. It's kind of like watching clouds move or smoke or fireworks and stuff. So yeah, watching paint dry now. One thing I don't think you can do without a time lapse time lapse camera is watching the grass grow. That's one thing that never seemed to work out when I tried it. I won't tell you how many times I did, but hey, you get bored when you're in PE and they're telling you, you know, care about the baseball. We're gonna get the points and be very angry if we win or lose in the right way or wrong way for this one period and then we're gonna have math next and forget all about it. The grass was more interesting to me than that. <laughs> it even was in Star Trek TNG and Data was like, one time I watched the pot and one time I played with Spot, his cat, but the water boiled exactly three minutes and 34 seconds. Exactly. Data, Data is, is, is onto, onto it. He knows, Data knows what I'm talking about. Hey, Mickey. That's a duplicate, yay! Oh, you know what? Okay, I need to I need to show you all something. Just we're gonna take a little sh side track because I don't like playing. I don't like playing with McGee. Um, where do I want to go? Practice range, right? I'm not a fan of like just how it feels to play his game style. So I just I can do it though. And sometimes when we play uh, 
random heroes, random heroes, then I, I get him, right? So this is his, um, you know, this is his, his, his skin that I have for him, right? But what I'll, let me get out here where there's a little bit more light. How's this? It's a little better. In Germany, let's say, we say, let's watch the grass grow. Yeah, there you go. Um, so I'll, I'll do this. I'll, I'll say to people, it, like in the game, like not with my voice, right? Because the VoIP is broken anyway. But I'll say, <laughs> watch and learn. Just, just observe that again. <laughs> Watch and learn. <laughs> Did he just spit in his mask? <laughs> uh, good stuff. Oh my gosh, we're, st we're, we're still at 953. So many loot boxes. So many loot boxes. Let's put this down to 90. Go back and forth with the Halloween one. I want to see if the candy stacks. Okay. We will experiment that in a few moments. Oh, hey. A duplicate. And a duplicate. And a duplicate. And a pile of gold. That was a real exciting double legendary. Yay. Duplicate, 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 duplicate. Look at all the money I have now, though. 6,000 coins? Ooh. Raptorium. It's like, I don't know. It's so standard for a legendary. Oh, one more. Can you change that into money? No. no I don't think so. Um, okay. Infinite candy! Quick, eat it before it disappears. <laughs> it's a decent amount of candy on the floor. Yeah, if you already have the scan voice line, etc., it gives you gold. Yeah. I like the fireworks sound effects and stuff. I believe with legendary gold is 500? Yeah, I think so. Hmm, nice, but would you have to go much faster back and forth to lag out the game? It is disappearing too fast. Yeah, there's uh, you have to wait for the bot the button prompt on the screen before it works. So, Raptorian again, isn't it? <laughs> okay, 
All right, you know, it is ornate. It's the same color scheme, though. Like, same exact color scheme. That's Farrah's favorite color. That's cool. I, I, don't, I don't like bling. I'm just, I'm not going to wear it. Okay. Let's see. Go through some of these. The real question is, will Rinja hit 10k? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to hit, like, I'm going to hit, like, like 40k. Probably. At this rate. Just projecting basic. Basic. That's my assumption. Basic assumption. I mean, minimal math. That's what I'm trying to say. I've done the, the least amount of math possible that my brain allows me to do. And it says that's the number. Anniversary! Yeah. It's actually filthy crypto, right? Overwatch coin. Get yours today. Just sell me a, just a sliver of your soul and then it's all yours. Oh, and burn down one forest. Okay, I like this. This is good. Mm -hmm. That was nice. What you looking at? It's so troll if you look at the box right as it's opening, like right in the middle of the screen. The little discs kind of look golden as they're coming out, all of them. Yeah, that's cool. Now you're like your brother. Anniversary, no, okay, let's see. We're down at, okay, another 21 to go. I actually know someone who had like 10K Bitcoins back in the day when one pizza cost like a few K, he should, doesn't even know we had them or anything. Oh, rip. Lost them. Lost them, that's bad. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's, let's do the highest numbers and bring them down. Hey. Duplicate, okay. That reminds me of um, a Kit Boga video I watched the other day. Kit, Bo Kit Boga on YouTube and Twitch, I think. Yeah. He does, he messes with scammers. Like, he calls them or they call him, whatever. Who cares? He messes with them. And he was playing a character. Um, he's got a voice changer and stuff. So he's, he uh, he was playing the the young girl character, like early twenties girl. Um, and so, from the scammer's point of view, she t told the scammer the story of how. She used to have a bunch of Bitcoin, and she doesn't really know anything about them or what's going on with them. But she, because she, she, she didn't care about them. She gave them all to her boyfriend a couple months ago, and the scammer was like, "Oh my God, how many did you give him?" And she's like, "I don't know, like a hundred." 
And then the scammer, like, had a meltdown on his end. Because, you know, he just he imagined all the money he can't scam now. He's like, oh no, if you had that, I could steal it from you. But you gave it to your boyfriend. He was, like, he was, like, angry at her. Like, he was trying to reprimand her. Like, he was her father or something. He's like, listen, you need... It's like... <laughs> Like, who are you, Mr. Scammer? <laughs> Trying to lecture this poor woman. <laughs> I bet her boyfriend was very happy. <laughs> I bet. It, it, I, I don't remember... I don't remember the video too well, but it's possible... Kit Boka will sometimes even play, like, you know, play the other other characters in his stories. He has multiple voice changers and stuff, and he's got a sound box, so he can say one thing with one of the characters and, like, record it, and then later on in the conversation, when that character would, like, repeat themselves, while they're talking with their other character, they play the recording, so it sounds like they're both talking at the same time and stuff, like, it's crazy good, so... Cause I, and I, I remember one of his other videos where, where the the wife lost, according to the scammer, the money, and then the angry ex-husband called, and then he played the angry ex-husband, and he's like, "What did you do with my money?" Screaming at the scammer, you know, like messing with him backwards. It's funny. It's funny stuff. Okay, let's see. Six more. All right. Six more and we're at 900. Oh gosh. <laughs> 45, 60. This one's 500. Hey. Duplicate. Duplicate. Oh yeah, I bet her boyfriend is very happy. That's right. In the video they did, the scammer did calculate. Like, based on the current price at the time. And it worked out to be like $4 million or something. 100 bitcoins was $4 million or something like that. Okay, we got 8,300 coins already, still nine, 900 boxes to go. All of the boxes are at nice little even round multiples of fives right now, so we're going to play another round just to not fall asleep from opening boxes. Um, hmm, I mean, maybe I can open a few boxes while we're... No, but then what if it's like in the sky and it's a legendary and it's floating and then the game is like, you're playing. And then you don't, we don't see, we don't see what it is. Oh, a, f a fun little trick. I, I'm sure it's not, it's not real, but it's a fun little thing. If you're not doing anything, it takes forever for matchmaking. But if you're like, I'm going to go look at my hero things and like change a skin or something, then the game's like, no, you're not here. You're playing a game. To play that little reverse psychology because the game is definitely psychic and can know what's going on in my head, you know? Of course. <laughs> I better, I don't know. I hate these holiday specials and events and games. I just want to be involved in the game at its fullest and not see like Santa's on Christmas everywhere or anything. I, I kind of understand. I mean, I, I like that when they do, I, I do like how they kind of handle it in Overwatch where there's like one or two maps that like get snow or something um but like you don't have to put on the skins or anything and and a lot of people just don't like i mean look at me i'm using a halloween skin technically this is a halloween skin but you know like i just wear it all the time i'm not wearing it because it's halloween anymore you know like it's just i wonder if anyone can hear me hi everyone my wipe is usually broken, so I have no idea if you can hear me. It's 
Let's see, got a Brigitte, they got a Sombra. Ooh, Sombra got, got Sombra. Our Sombra is gonna make this super easy if she just keeps getting these nice, nice hacks. Sombra over here to hack this Moira. She get away. Their summer is pretty good at stopping us right now.
Shit the heck that time. Back here. Uh, no, I think I'm alright. I mean, unless the team needs it. His laughing voice line was great. I mean, it works. Distracting two of them by their spawn. Awesome. Fair enough. 
выбросить пять миллионов на деревне. This is a hairy situation. GG. Finally got a victory. <laughs> oh, good job. He's hacked 82. That's pretty good. Hey, my uh, my VoIP was working that that game. I was communicating. You should show off your eye tracking. Oh, I can't do the eye tracking on on the Overwatch right now. Selfie is victory pose. <laughs> Got another loot box too. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't. I can't do the eye tracking on when playing Xbox. So, duplicate. <clears throat> That's new. Reaper, never more. Ooh. I actually like it. I'll put it on. So many duplicates. You like this goth stuff, don't you? I guess, I mean, it's a coincidence that it's goth. I like ornate stuff, and goth stuff happens to be ornate. But if you give me the same level of ornateness with, like, something white and frilly and colorful, then I'll be like, yeah, that's good, too. Put that on.
color. Ugh. There is only darkness. Okay, 65 of those now. Cool. Try and get all these, these things down to like the same numbers and I'll just hit them all evenly. I like that Moira skin. I can confirm there is only darkness, no color allowed, unless it's coloring my hair. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. DMCA, watch out. Watch out. Whoa! Crusader! Cool. Talon. Cool. Reminds me of a meme um, where the top of the meme says, when your sarcasm is so advanced that people think you're stupid, and then that text is over a picture of, it looks like a, a teen dressed in a full Sonic outfit that just has like the face exposed, but he looks tired. He looks like he's had a long day and he's just like, and then the text on that picture says, the problem with being faster than light is that you can only live in darkness. <laughs> Isn't that the one from the village people, DMCA? <laughs> well, the map. You see what I have to put up with. <laughs> no escape from the bad puns and memes. No. They're everywhere. Everywhere. all day. I remember hearing that voice line in ugh, Lucio Ball, competitive Lucio Ball. Like, it was a meme for a couple days where everyone put on this voice line and was just spamming it the whole match. I could do this all, I could, do, I could do this all day. <sighs> flashbacks. Traumatic flashbacks. It's terrible. I mean, we could, couldn't we? We did. We did. We played it all day. So we, you know, no one was lying. It's just, did we need to say it out loud so many times? <laughs> hey. Do it. That's a pretty scary hook. Put it on. It's cool. Sweet. Let's see here. Um, oh wow, okay. So I can easily just do 50 of these normal ones. Seems kind of fishy. <laughs> I'm 
All right, we're, we're starting our new speed run. How fast can you open boxes? <laughs> Challenge. I'm really only gonna pay attention to legendaries because there's so many, so many boxes to get through. Hey, you know what? That's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. I've been using Torbjorn's blah or blue skin. It's just regular default, like common skin colors. And he's like my second or third most played character. <laughs> That's cool. Have a, a legendary Torbjorn skin finally. <laughs> Okay, so you see what happens is if you hold A, like right now it says hold A, so I'm going to hold A. Right? Now watch. If I hold A too soon, like say right now, way too soon, I'm still holding A, right? If I let go of A, it's as if I pressed it. So it's treating a release as if it is a press. That's suspicious activity. You know, as a, as a gamer, I dislike that. That's like, that's like stored roles in Dark Souls when you're like, I pressed the B, the B button twice, but like five seconds ago. Why did it remember both actions in a row? Like, and I roll twice. Like, this is driving me crazy, you know? Suspicious. Suspicious. Yeah, get that smoking man out. Anyway, it makes it real, real annoying, because if you press the button too soon, then you're going to go into one of the box items. That's what keeps happening to me. Like I said, make a macro. Z, 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 z. <laughs> well, we gotta get it on camera. You know, we gotta we gotta have that that binge worthy. Put this on to fall asleep to because it's kind of monotonous, but not crazy. You know, you're not gonna get like a you know suddenly someone screaming and stuff. You know, we're just playing games and opening boxes. Oh hey. It's a different fish themed. Okay. <laughs> Besides, actually, I wouldn't know how to make a macro for the Xbox, to be honest. I could probably do it on the PC. I could definitely do it if it had anything to do with Microsoft Excel, because I, I excel at that program. That one's too easy, right? When will you play Beat Saber? Probably after Overwatch, to be honest. Because I'm sat here, and then I want to play a little bit of the VR headset before I sit down again for Mass Effect Legendary. Um, I'll probably even play a little bit of Super Hot. Um, I could play Beat Saber just all night long until I collapse, but uh, I'm going to try and limit it to you know so much each day, and I'll do the next the next day and so on. Um, and I want to just put it out there that I've only been playing Beat Saber f um, since basically the beginning of this month, so like two weeks or so. I did that once. Had a had a tennis arm the next day at work. Oof. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be careful. I am sore. You know, I have not been a very active person for years. So having a VR and I'm like trying to full combo songs is my goal. It's full combo songs. Excuse me, hiccup type thing. Oh. Um, yeah, full full comboing is 
it's gonna take some effort. Some of those songs are fast. Fast, you know? I can't even I can't even beat the songs on like the the later albums, like album one through four I can get through. Most or all? All or most songs. But of course, I've only been playing for two weeks. Two weeks. So. I will theoretically improve with time. What kind of controller do you have, and how much do they weigh? Um, controller, you mean for um, for the Xbox or the the Oculus hand hand the Oculus handle things, whatever they're called, controllers. The VR. Oh, uh, this is one of them. This is this is the left side Oculus thing. It's very light. Um, comparable weight? I want to say this controller is slightly heavier. No, they're, I mean, they're comparable. I would know with my limited human senses for sure. So they're comparable. I think the, I think the hand, the VR thing is slightly lighter. Yeah, move. Yeah, the test is moving this around quickly. This is harder to do than moving that around quickly. So I think the VR handset is a little lighter than this, at least. There's actually there's actually an option. I was in the VR VR options earlier, um, and it's got a. It's like exper it's like an experimental option. It's like this may not work properly, but you know, give it a try if you're curious, and maybe it, it works. Um, ooh, wow, so many Roadhog skins. Um, and it says um, use your hands as controllers. So I'm not sure how that would work with a lot of games where the button pressing is important. But I imagine that in simpler simulations or whatever, applications or whatever you're doing in VR, that perhaps just having your hands to touch things or whatever, like can the, can the VR tell if I'm pointing versus open versus gripped? I don't know. I haven't tested the feature. Like I said, it's experimental and I didn't have time to play with it. So, And if that's the case, then the controllers weigh nothing. They, they weigh you. <laughs> the index controllers can tell. The index controllers can tell. What does that mean? The index controllers. Like these controllers, they can tell what buttons your fingers are rest on. Like if my, if my thumb is touching the buttons or not, it can feel it. Not even just, not pressing them, just touching them. Index is the VR headset valve right out. Oh, I see. Yeah. So what I was talking about, the option I saw in the menu was was get rid of these entirely. No. No, your hand itself becomes you just put these down and the headset has the headset has lots of cameras on it for seeing where it is. And I guess that it can see where your hands are too. So I don't know. Curious setting I saw worth investigating later on. Like, uh, I also have on the agenda to investigate uh, mixed reality VR, right? So, like, I can put myself inside the game I'm playing from your perspective, like, from the computer, like, the camera's perspective. That'll be cool, but I'm just trying to do it, like, one bit at a time. Like, I've got the casting, I tested capturing. I don't know if the sound quality is going to be good. I don't know... When we were testing it, the video from the casting was, was skipping a little bit. Um, and I don't know if that's just uh, 
something locally on our end or if it's just a thing with the casting because it's like a built-in feature for the it's like a built-in feature and you have to go through the oculus website uh, i guess there are probably other ways to capture the vr but that's like the built-in streamlined easy way to do it so if it if the quality isn't perfect i can be a little forgiving although it is a little sad that it skips a little bit uh, but considering how convenient it is, and that it's like just built in and it's free, and I'm not like paying for a service, like I appreciate for it for what it does at that point. Sixteen more. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sixteen more. All right. Let's see. What's the highest number I got? Sixty-five up, right? Okay, we'll do one here, and then five from three others. I'm still waiting for the gloves. You mean the Nintendo Power Glove? They've done it. It's, it's perfection. There's nothing wrong with that glove. Go use it. No, I'm kidding. I'm still waiting for the gloves. will be totally another level of immersion in the game where you can actually feel and touch things. Speaking of immersion in your senses and feeling and touching things, um, it, seems, it seems like it'll be a hit or miss thing, but... Uh, no? No? I was joking about the Nintendo Power Glove being perfection. It's notoriously one of the worst devices ever released by a company. Um, least functional, I guess. There's a prototype already. Cool. For VR gloves, you mean. Like, better than Nintendo Power Glove was. It wasn't even a VR glove. It was just a glove that you could control the game with. But, you know, a controller hooking into a VR versus a game system is not that much different. It's the same concept. It's just where you're perceiving it makes a difference. Technologically speaking, it's nearly identical. Anyway, um, the, uh, I lost my train of thought. Nintendo Power Glove, joking, prototype already. I was gonna, I was gonna mention something I saw or like some video or something. Totally forgot it. Five of those, five of these. Oh, right. Immersion, you said touch and feel things. I saw an ad for, um, it reminds me of when I'm at Disneyland and there are certain rides. Um, and I'm sure there are other examples from other places, but there are certain rides where, and D Disneyland is very good at, at considering as many of your senses as possible at once you know if they can if they can fool one sense they'll do it if they can do two they'll do it if they can do you know so uh uh there's a there's a a, a a vest it's a vest you wear the vest and the audio of what you're listening to gets turned into different reverberations in the vest in different places like the vest has speakers or whatever vibrators I don't know whatever built into it all over so you can feel the action which reminds me of you know it's like it's like the vibrator near controller you know you, you feel the action but it's limited to just your hands but this vest can take the audio and do more complicated things with it to expose your entire torso to feeling the game or the music or whatever. Hmm, the video with the prototype I know is already two years old, probably already on the market by now. Probably, or at least a knockoff or a other prototype or simpler or something. Now I needed one, I needed five more. Yeah, five more. All right, here we go, five more. Take a quick break from boxes and go play another round. Also, time is flying. It's already been two hours. Wow. It has been a while since I streamed, so my perception of time is a little 
off right now. Um, okay, we're down to 800 remaining. Oh man, okay. Uh, before we do hit the next round, I just need to take a quick break, stretch my legs, you know, just wander around, contemplate life, whatever. Grab a drink of water. Grab yourself a water, hydrate, etc. I'll be right back. I'm just going to use my Xbox soon thing. Yoga stream. I mean, I am sat on a chair that's just like a plat. It's just like a cushion on top of a stick. There's no backer or anything. So, like, I can just. So, yeah, I am actually kind of sat here in like a yoga position on my chair at all times. I'll, I'll roll with it, I'll take credit. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'll just be right back, and I'll, we'll, we'll play another round and open some more boxes. All right, see you soon.
those are cute little emotes. Pride penguin and pride flower. Oh, I like them. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm back. Hello, hello. Uh, hey, we've got one win. Let's see if we can get a quick one. Sometimes you can get a mayhem game that's just done. Just done. Done. Total opposite of the 50... 51 minute game. <laughs> That'd be nice. I might open more loot boxes per game as well. Seeing how it's it's been... I know the first lot of bit of the stream was like just setting some stuff up and stuff, but... Um, yeah, especially with mixing games into the loot boxing. Loot, loot boxing. I pair this piece of loot against this piece of loose loot. Only the strongest will survive. Um, between the loot boxes and the rounds of games, it is actually quite a long time. And I got some other stuff I want to do, so I'm, I'm probably going to open up more boxes per, per game. I think I'll do 200, so we're going to have four more games and four more box sections. So I got 800. So four more games, four more box opening extravaganzas. And again, I'd be opening some right now, but it'll like, it'll be just our luck that a legendary will be in the sky, like on its way down, and then it finds us the game. We don't get to see what it is, so. Spin it. Ooh. Ooh. Let's trick the game. Hey, we're gonna go look at our hero gallery. We're gonna we're gonna put on an, a new thing. We're gonna change our We're gonna change our thing. We're changing things. Overwatch. Don't Don't stop us. Uh oh. We've got new victory poses. Hey, I actually like that. Hmm. See this pose that she's standing in with her hands behind her back? I do that all the time. And I'm not trying to be prim, or, prim and proper or anything, but just like sometimes I don't know what the hell to do with my arms and I just, if I hold them, I'm either holding them in the front sometimes or I'm holding them in the back. So it's like... But, you know, when you're holding your arms together like this, like just one over the other device. Hello. Hi. Hey, not much. Hey, the voice over IP is working. Cool. Anyway, if I uh, if I'm doing that on the front, no one seems to notice. But if I'm doing it on the back, they like they think something's going on. Like I've got some emotion going on, or like I'm closed off, or and I'm like, huh? I'm holding my arm. What are you? I have emotions? When? <laughs> this is the first I've heard of it. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> oh great, we've got a Sombra. Oh, good. Hi everyone. No. I'm not no. saying no to you guys, I'm saying no to the enemy. By the way, just <laughs>
<laughs> oh my gosh, should we be laying them? See the moves. Summer just makes things so, uh, so, so powerful. Whoever has the Sombra on their team has a very strong team. kind of somber now that's trying to hack me. And they moved it a, fr a fraction. There we go. See? Quick wins are possible. Just a couple of minutes. You gotta open another 200 loot boxes. Two different times I saw we saw someone not uh, not moving and just standing still and getting killed. It's weird. Oh yeah, I'll give it to the Sombra. Let's endorse that mercy too. To toilet paper. Alright, she kept me alive when the Sombra would have killed me. Or had a really high chance of killing me, at least in their Sombra, of course, which is hacking everyone. There we go. Um, I mean, these other people existed too. I'll just... There you go. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. More boxes. Alright, so... Let's do... Let's take these all down to 50. Yeah. And then we'll do 100 of the regular ones. Oh, the Valkyrie. That's a pretty cool one. I like that. I'm gonna keep the pink one on. 
because I paid like fifteen dollars for it. So when when the one skin is one fourth the cost of the game itself, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear it. It's the most expensive skin I have. I mean I don't know maybe the Widowmaker Noir. The, Noir, right? Right. Maybe this skin is technically the most expensive because. It is now. Because you can't. Skin, yeah. Unlocked by pre purchasing Overwatch. No one can do that anymore. I bought us those, remember? Yeah, you did. Thank you. Yeah, Wifey bought us these. She's the reason we have. It's the, the cool. It's the hair. It's the cool hair. She looks like if she angry, she could just turn around while turning around to storm off. Just kill you. Kill you. Just oh, needle in the head, you're dead. Just, just walks off. Doesn't even look back. Like the Joker walking away from the exploding hospital in Dark Knight Rises. Or in Dark Dark Knight Dark Knight Rises or whatever is the last one, right? Anyway. <clears throat> Total, totally badass skin. Love it. One of my favorite skins. Even though I don't even play Widow. <laughs> I'm one of those, I'm one of those, like, those players that's only, like, good at certain, certain, uh, game types and stuff like when I'm actually under pressure so like if I just pick up the the sniper class and like uh, mystery heroes or it's just like a skirmish like the game hasn't started yet and we're just playing around and I pick a sniper I can get like like every headshot I want but then the second the game starts I couldn't I couldn't hit the sky in an open field. You know, like So That's just a that's actually I would think that's actually just a, an age thing cuz I don't know if I'm more tired than I used to be, or I just, I don't care enough. Because I used to be really, really, really accurate in the video games, you know, like, in the shooters especially. <clears throat> like, I don't remember what game or games it was, but some of them keep a lot of stats. Like, a lot of stats, right? Like... Uh, even your your average accuracy, like how many how many bullets are you wasting versus actually hitting a target with? I don't remember what my numbers were, but I do remember that whenever my friends and I would talk about our numbers, that I was I was always the most accurate person among our group of players and we were like decent players like everyone on my team like if any of us went one one to one anyone it was anyone's game all the time um with like a few exceptions like there were a few few sort of like rock paper scissors types exceptions where like even though you know this particular friend is just as skilled as this particular friend uh it's just their play styles naturally give one a huge advantage over the other one's play style and it just it just works out that the one person usually wins because of the play style differences you know um, but besides that like weird paradigm like you know any one of us could carry any one of us could clutch any one of us could you know do whatever so uh, loads of fun and, and you know it's all, it's all good good competition and all that between us when we were comparing our stats but that's the reason that I'm so familiar with with the stats is because because of all that comparing 
More Farah. Mecha Queen. That's cool. I'll put it on. put it on I I don't know if it's just a yellow glow from the thing that's like is that supposed to, let me go let me go look at it okay it does have a lot of that color but this color is not okay this is much better than with the glowing from the yellow yeah Fifty, fifty, fifty-six. Anyway, speaking of stats, like I'm glad that Overwatch actually does have some stats, and that they've added more over time. I can see how they kind of had an approach to the stats that they withheld, like where they don't tell us, or they, or you have to do the math yourself, sort of thing. Or you have, and sometimes it's like less than straightforward math to figure out what your stats are. Because uh, they're trying to discourage focusing on the wrong thing, right? Because in Overwatch, the correct thing to focus on is the objective, right? Unless you're just playing straight deathmatch, which is not the main theme of, mo like, even most of the maps, the very nature of the map is that to play all of the map you have to advance objectives. So like just the game is built around team teamworks and, and objective. Teamwork to take the objective. So uh, they want to discourage people from focusing on their so-called KD, right? Their kill to death ratio. Because some people in some games will think that that's the only... So long as their stats page says that, so long as the the post-game scorecard says that they got the most kills and the least amount of deaths, that, that means that by definition, they uh, are a good player. But what if the same reason that they have all those stats is because they ignored the objective the whole game and then that's why their team that's why their team lost because they were down a person on the objective and, sh and sure there is the um there is the the argument to make that uh it's, an, it's a tactic i do all the time where i am pulling the enemy off of the objective right um Right, if there are three, if there are two or three of the enemy fighting me somewhere in their spawn area, then that's only three people fighting my team on the objectives. So that's a five versus three, while I'm just keeping three people occupied, right? Um, but in that scenario, I'm actually not getting kills. I'm keeping them occupied. I mean, I'm going to kill them if I can, but that's not the objective. Whether they're alive or dead, the point is that they're not at the objective, right? If they're not at the objective, whether they're alive or dead, they're not at the objective where my team is. Or at least theoretically where my team is. But, you know, there are other people doing similar to what I'm doing, but they're trying to get kills. They're trying to stack their stats, you know? They're trying to just get kills. And ultimately, are they really contributing to the objective at times? Because sometimes they get their... They get all their kills, but it's like, you know, they killed one person at a time. So mostly it's five people or whatever at the objective. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a kind of a gray area. It's hard to differentiate between the two, but it really depends on your, I guess, your situational awareness. Like, if I am off baiting 
Hey, here we go. If I, if I am off baiting people, I'm still trying to pay attention to the objective. Like, do I need to go back and help because we're low on time? Do I, you know, do I need to try and prioritize someone that's that's really hurting my team over there versus the people that are being distracted by me? You know, like, you can't just always be going for kills or your primary strategy. You gotta, you gotta adapt. So I can see why Overwatch originally didn't have very many uh, very many stats, or at least the stats they provided were kind of cryptic because they wanted people not to focus on on the wrong things, you know? Like, is there a total number of games played stat? There's hours played, there's total wins, but is there total losses? Is there total number of games? Can you figure out your win percentage? Is there a win percentage stat? Yes, there is per character, right? Yeah, but there is, is there, you know, so there's all kinds of different stats that you can start asking questions for like, you can find the data in places. All right, that's 50. All right, we got a bunch to open here. Anyway, we can look at the Overwatch stats later. Just a, just a quick glance. It's just like, curious, like... Oh, one of the fun stats is, um... Uh... Mystery Hero, right? If you play Mystery Hero for... Oh, I did it again. Pressing A too early. If you play Mystery Hero enough, you know, go look at your mystery hero stats. You know, in mystery hero, you uh, you get a random hero. You don't get to pick your hero, right? And then when you die, it re-rolls. You could get the same hero again, randomly. That doesn't happen that often, but it can and does happen sometimes. Um, but the idea is like, you get one chance at a time per hero. So on average, the idea is like, how much, how much do you play? So like, we'll go look at my stats and we'll see like, oh, I've played the most time with this hero, which means that odds are I'm better with that hero than other heroes. Hey, right? Because if I'm randomly getting all the heroes, but I die with the, this is pretty cool, I guess. The only thing I don't like about it is her is her hair, because I like I like long hair, at least medium hair. Anyway, stats are just they they you shouldn't focus on them, but they're an interesting like insight. They can teach you things sometimes. That's what you should use them more for, not. You shouldn't focus on them to to make them more or less whatever, but just check in on where you are, you know? Of course, there's always the general idea. You know, you obviously, you want to die less and get more kills. Duh. You know, that's the point of general. Like, if you, if you never get any kills and you only die, you're not going to win. So, you know, you got to... There's the obvious path forward, so to speak, but... To start like hyper focusing and art artificially inflating the numbers, like that's that's the dark side. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> all these duplicates, all these duplicates, duplicate, 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 duplicate. I remember finally in all this monotonous box opening <laughs> that I'm doing for fun uh, 
the reason I started thinking about all that stuff. Hey! Nice. Two at once is cool. Mako. Do I have that one? Well, that's Bridget one. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's like Tori Bjorn. Hey! Um. I vaguely remember what I, I was talking about stats. Oh, I wanted to talk about one of the stats from way back when, when my friends and I used to compare stats all the time. But before I said the stat, I wanted to preface it by saying, "Don't focus on your stats, right? Because it's bad. It's bad news bears." So that what happened was my the stat I'm thinking of was always so high that my friends would sometimes, they'd lose the plot of our objective and they'd be ignoring the objective. And we would all yell at them, hey, get get over here. Stop trying to get your kills. You know, get, o get over here. And almost all of us would, would be doing it here or there. So like no one was, was innocent of it all the time. So that's why I'm saying like, you gotta watch out, make sure you're staying focused. Um, but it was in one of the Call of Duties, I believe. It was Call of Duty or Halo. What, I don't know. We played a lot of Halo 3 f at, for a while, but we ended up playing way more Call of Duty than ha we ever played of Halo. Um, we also played a hell of a lot of Gears of War 1. Hey. Explorer. Oh, I just put on that other one with the cool rockets. I don't want to do that. Anyway, um, on one of those games that we played, my, my KD was four, the highest it ever got was 4.61. So I'd take down over four and a half opponents before I was stopped. Just every life, hey, I'm going to take down four of you. Maybe another half of one of you is going to die too. And there's just going to be a, someone half flopping around. No, you get, you get the idea. But, like, that's scary. If there's someone on the enemy team that just across all of their games, no matter what they do, everywhere they go, 4.61, I don't want to fight against, I don't want to fight against that. That's terrifying. It's terrifying to me. I'm like, can you bring your KD down a little bit? You're going to kill me a lot, aren't you? Can you stop? Can you not? So, anyway, my friends would would be chasing my KD. I was always setting the KD pack leader, leadership of the pack. And, uh, you know, it led to arguments sometimes where we're like, you know, we're all just trying to have fun, but when you're not winning the game type because someone's off just getting kills somewhere, someone the other over there, you know, you're like, at least try and get your kills over here on the objective. Like at least, that's how I'm, that's how I'm doing it. I stay on the objective and then I kill things that come to the objective. That's, they just give you kills by coming to you. That's why, <laughs> right? <laughs> if you go to the objective, then you're going to find things to kill. You don't have to go over there. You can just <laughs> help your team. <laughs> Stay with your team. <laughs> Need healing, okay, Genji? Just, you're just like 16 walls and two stories up away. I'll heal you from here. <laughs> A Fico man gets it. Need healing. <laughs> That was two yellows in a row, except one of them was a pile of gold. Hey. T Racer. I would almost pick it for the name, but I'm just not super duper a fan of yellow on my person. I like the color just over there, you know. And the rose outfit is so pretty. Maybe save some loot boxes? You've done 600 plus. Begin tomorrow with the rest? I mean, I guess I could do two parts to the loot boxes. I'm at 700 right now. Wait, well I did, I did, I had 1063 when we started. So let's see, how many is that? 
1063 minus 700. I've opened 364, actually, or five, because I'm getting one or two more. Yeah, it has. It's been two and a half hours of Overwatch and loot boxes. Um, so I've opened 363. I've got... 700 left so another 350 tomorrow and 350 the day after it sounds about right why don't we why don't we go ahead and finish it off with one more match of mayhem hey maybe we'll get another loot box hey let's get that last loot box to finish it off yeah we'll get one more win <laughs> we'll have 701 loot boxes to open And then I think what's well, I think what's next is Beat Saber. What do you guys think? What does everyone think? I'm cracking my back. Is what I'm doing. So Beat Saber, and then you know wear myself out a little bit. Maybe maybe dip our toes into Super Hot. I don't want to get super duper into Super Hot today, but I am like I have not touched it. I played the demo like 50 times. That's not, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> I want to play super hot really bad, but it's a rabbit hole. Once I start getting into super hot, I'm just going to zone in and it's going to become my entire universe. So I need to be careful, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm thinking Beat Saber first and then super hot. And then we'll put the VR away and we'll have Mass Effect Legendary. And we'll just binge Mass Effect all night. Makes sense. The crowd concurs. Yeah, it's a little past, it's it's getting in the evening and we don't get a lot of direct sunlight here. So it's not super duper warm. Ideal for doing some, some beat saving. My arm, I got my um, vaccine shot number one today, this morning. My arm is, is, is actually, I'm a little sensitive my body's a little sensitive and it is a little sore and actually for a little bit after the shot um, I had a slight issue with numbness and loss of motor control lo lo numbness and loss of motor control uh, my these two fingers right here were being very much less responsive than normal and so was my wrist but it's all back to normal now. Got second shot last week. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, they said our next shot is in uh, four weeks. Four weeks. I don't know if that's standard. Doesn't, doesn't seem familiar, but whatever. Hello. Why is Moira so mean? Yep, for the Moderna and Pfizer. Okay. Hello, let's go. That's a Bastion. Watch the hook. Okay, good. You're gonna die, Winston. Oh, good job. Bye, 
kind of creep. <laughs> oh man. You got two kinds of shots? No, I think he was just saying the difference between the two that have the four weeks thing. Do they have a summer now? Okay. Wait, why did she just do that? The sombra is not... <laughs> Sombra's not doing what sombra should be doing. <laughs> You got healing. The MRA vaccines you do a month in each one. Okay. The normal one Johnson Johnson's for weeders. It's just one shot. <laughs> Whoever just fell down there, sorry. I'll heal you, Symmetra, if you're at the objective.
geometry. Symmetry's got the car wash at the front door. GG. All right. Thanks, everyone. So you got the play. Yeah, had to be. Both McCrees got multi-kills, right? Yeah, this was the enemy McCree, wasn't it? Oh no, this was ours, that's right. That's right. Um, effective time. Yeah, okay. Leave. Nope. I just want to leave. I, I keep playing it over here and it's not... It's not up to date. Okay. Well, thanks for watching Overwatch. We're going to save the rest of these loot boxes for the, next, for the following days. We're going to move on to some VR stuff. Um, let me close this. So I'm just going to just gonna set it up I don't have like a just a button I don't I'm not that fancy yet where I can just press so it's just gonna take a couple of moments of fussing about and we'll we'll get it going uh...